Today I'm gonna show you how I write articles on Obsidian. So basically this what you're seeing here is actually a blog entry of this drama called Joy of Light. It's a massive drama with about in total if you want to count season one it's almost about goodness 80 episodes so it's a lot of content right so what I do here is like uh, while I'm watching I take fleeting notes you can see here all the fleeting notes all right so let's click on one fleeting note so I have a meta description here so I make sure that it has a relevant tag and that it is also connected to the master review page the master review page is the review that I'll be uploading to the blog eventually. All right. So one way you can see all the fleeting notes is to sort of like uh, create a master. So this is one way. I created a data view query that fetches everything from the Joy of Life tag. So this lists down every single fleeting note I have of it. This is one way. All right. Another way is this. You go here, three dots here, you go to open link view, open link graph, local graph, okay? Ta-da! I, I like this method, okay? <laughs> I like the graphical presentation. So you can sort of like see in a graphical format all the fleeting notes that are connected to this master review. So let's say you want to start writing, right? I usually do it this way. I would have this Joy of Life 2 open and I will probably open one here. Okay? So let's say I'll be writing this, right? Then I'll sort of like, oh, copy some sentence here and I'll pop it here. Copy another sentence here, I'll pop it here and I'll rewrite. So there you have it. That's how I write my articles in general. With this system, I won't be graded with a blank page or spend hours trying to come up with a paragraph. Instead, I have a bunch of fleeting notes which I can repurpose into an article. I hope this little video has been helpful. Do let me know uh, in the comments below. And if you do write with Obsidian, what system do you use?